In this video, I want to give you styling ideas if you relate to the soft gamine in David Kibbe's work. But David himself says that the metamorphosis is not a good guideline for style advice anymore. So people tend to look online for styling ideas. And if you look online, here's what you're going to find. I would describe this as preppy, feminine with a touch of twee, with a bit of quirky feminine twist. So this brings us to the question, what if you relate to the soft gamine body description of petite, soft, slightly angular, but not to the yang essence, the idea of the spitfire chic, or this girly preppy aesthetic that you often find recommended. I have my own solution, which is the Style Key, my system for personal style, and it offers four different essence flavors that do not depend on your body type or your face, just on your essence. So I'm gonna illustrate the four dimensions of the soft gamine with for extremely stylish soft gaming mean celebrities and i'm going to give you examples of outfits inspired by these women our four examples are going to be reese witherspoon an example of the moonstone style key thandy newton an example of the sapphire style key Maisie williams an example of the ruby style key and mary kate olsen an example of the amethyst style key so let's look at them one by one let's start with reese witherspoon representing the moonstone key so Reese has a very refined, inspiring, and understated essence. She's so polished, she's so sophisticated, but she has this very like easeful, cheerful, relaxed presence. And I think looking at the Kibbe recommendations online, she might like the idea of the freshness and of the preppy styles, but not so much the emphasis on how many intense details or complex, like tailored silhouettes she needs. So Reese does sometimes wear really fun and really dynamic clothes. She looks great in intense patterns, bright color contrast, wonderful, but she's most often photographed in outfits which are somewhat more understated and she looks great in those too. She's a great example of somebody who doesn't have to define and emphasize her waist doesn't mean she looks lost without that. And importantly, even when Reese is wearing her more understated outfits, she still brings in a lot of fun contrast and kind of a yin and yang play, even to these relaxed outfits through her accessories and all the small touches. So if you relate to Reese's sophisticated and preppy understated style, you could try an outfit that has a yin foundation. So stretchy slim fit jeans and a flowy and kind of like knit texture yin top with a rounded neckline, but not necessarily any special like waist emphasis. The top could have embroidery, it could have like buttons, whatever, if you want. You can also add a short structured jacket on top to add that touch of angular yang and to emphasize your frame. It should have something like constructed. Then you wanna add in the fun through the accessories like Reese does. So I love shoes that visually break up the foot into many pieces. I love this for all means. You could also use a bag which has like a yang color or a yin yang design, right? It's for pop. You can also look for jewelry that has like yin yang, right? So maybe a short necklace with a really big pendant or a long necklace with really round yin beads. Lots of opportunities there. Okay, so that's Reese. Let's move to Thandie Newton and the Sapphire Key. Thandie has a radiant and glamorous essence. She loves outfits which are very bold and very visually expressive. She's really matching the intensity of her personal presence through her style. Doesn't mean she doesn't have any more casual days, but this is what she's most known for. And Thandive to me is the person who dresses most like the old Hollywood soft gummy celebrities, but in a modern interpretation. This makes sense to me because I think David Kibbe's style vision most closely aligns with the Sapphire style key. Thandive's style, she plays with a lot of pattern, she is unafraid to combine many patterns together. She uses many accessories to add a lot of visual complexity. Her clothes have a lot of detailing. You can see how she brings in the soft yin outline and lots of creative contrast, but in a very different way than Reese and her style overall is just louder and more intense. If you relate to Thandie's elegant and bolder expressive style, you could try an outfit with a soft flowing silhouette, like a long flowy dress or a blouse and skirt combo. You can have waist emphasis, but you don't need to as long as the dress is like yin flowing, hugging your shape. You want lots of visual interest on the dress or skirt through pattern, buttons, ruffles, contrast, something visually complex needs to be on the garment itself. On top of this outfit, you want a longish jacket, which has structured shoulders, and it has something going on at the collar and wrist to give you that contrast. For shoes, you wanna choose something that's related to the outfit, but contrasting also, again, to like add even more interest and rounded or almond toe is easy to bring in some yin. With the bag, you can just play around. They don't need to be matchy. 
You could try a bag that's like large but soft, right? So yang with yin, or it could be a small bag that's structured, right? So yin with yang, just like really have fun with it. And you can't really go wrong as long as there is some sort of visual theme to the outfit. Okay, let's move to Maisie Williams and the ruby key. Maisie has a very intriguing and very personable essence. She's super magnetic and really, really charming. In my system, Maisie would use the wildflower archetype. As you can see, she has an amazing gift for looking like herself in a very wide range of styles. She can dress up super fancy for events. She can keep it really simple. All the while, it feels like she's so authentically herself. When Maisie is photographed out and about, she tends towards styles which are more visually relaxed while still being really fun and expressive. So she definitely chooses yin knit style fabrics, but I don't think she does much to emphasize her waist or to create those like crisply tailored edges. She doesn't need that to look beautiful. And I think this can be really inspiring for soft coming regardless of your style key, just to note that, you know, you don't have to always be doing those silhouette recommendations. If you do relate to Maisie's eclectic and relaxed style, you could try one of her outfit formulas. This is an iconic look of hers, right? You start with a boxy yang crop jacket in a bright color. You pair it with straight cut stiff pants. Not so much in so far. <laughs> then you throw on some chunky, interesting, fun shoes. Add a bag with a long strap. Her pink hair did a lot of the work here, so you could use a fun hat instead to bring in something even more fun, or maybe you want to do something fun with your hair or jewelry. As a bonus, amazing inspired. I also really like this outfit. If you want to take inspiration from it, all you need is a really light, sheer, long skirt, heavy, soft, and cropped sweater, bag on a chain with lots of visual interest, and like heavy, chunky shoes. They're done. Let's conclude with Mary Kate Olsen as an example of the amethyst key. Mary Kate is a very mysterious presence in the world. She is so captivating, so iconic, and yet so elusive. She definitely uses her style to play into the mystery, primarily by using styles that literally wrap up, shield, and hide her body. Her clothes are basically like the antithesis for soft coming recommendations. Yet, Mary-Kate is widely acknowledged for her sense of style. You might use the amethyst style key, but like you don't want to dress like Mary-Kate. My point is that for you, it's more important that your style matches your style persona rather than showcasing your body in the best way. So it depends on what you want. Mary-Kate basically always wears layers and layers, especially in black, which like is also contrary to her color season. She uses bulky accessories. She always has sunglasses to create that like constant mystery because that's her brand. If you relate to the Mary Kate drama and mystery, you don't have to do it in all black. The important thing is you want volume, draping, and kind of like simple clothes. So a pair of soft drapey pants, soft flowy top, a big long jacket over, lots and lots of cool bohemian jewelry, big, heavy, sturdy back, and you want these kind of streetwear shoes. Uh, Mary-Kate does not try to elongate her legs through footwear. You don't either. I have a bonus option for Mary-Kate also with a skirt. Point of this is same outfit, but just slightly different formula. The point of this style is to use your small frame as a point of contrast to the voluminous clothes, creating the aura of enchanting mystery. So that's it for Salkameen. These celebrities are just one example for each style key. They do not represent the possibilities for each key, but I think they give a really good flavor. I recommend checking out my resources below or watch my introduction to the system if you want to learn more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.